Shit, did that just make him more mad? Oh, he just got amped. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. What's going on, y'all? Today we got another episode of Solo Leveling. Last episode, Jin Wu was leveling up, getting experience points with Jin Ho. Uh, he even went back and fought that big giant sand serpent thing. You know, just leveling up. He scammed this businessman. Um, he also, we also got to see this one red dude, uh, red haired guy. It was like a, and it's that's something that threw me off a lot the last episode. It was something about Juju Island, and then he was seeing this real wounded girl. She had like a giant monster behind her or something, and then he woke up. It was like a dream. And Jin Ho, or not Jin Ho, <clears throat> excuse me, Jin Woo. At the very end of, end, end of the episode, we saw him driving away in the car. And I don't know why that was just weird. We just never seen him drive away, especially with all the little speed boost and how fast he could run and dodge and jump and stuff. I, I just thought it was kind of weird seeing him drive away in the car. Nevertheless, let's hop into it. Would you like to accept the job change quest? So he's still at this screen. I think this is what popped up at the end of the last episode. But yeah, he's probably going to select yes. Yeah. Whoa. Did the dungeon, a dungeon just start? What the hell? Yeah, I don't know what he's going to fight on the other side of that thing. But whatever it is, it's going to be super strong. Is this what he walked into? Or some sort of castle? Oh, he can't use potions or anything in this dungeon. All right, he's grabbing out his weapon. We must be here in the night we saw earlier. Oh no, it's actually not that night we saw earlier. That's like a weaker looking night. Didn't notice his name is kind of yellow, so he's kind of like a medium type enemy. Jin Woo should be able to disable him instantly. Did he one shot him? Nope, he wasn't able to one shot him, but he, it shouldn't, he shouldn't have to struggle too much with him. Yeah, Jin Woo got this. Yeah, he can't pierce that thing. He might need to use a blunt weapon. Oh, he's just using his hands, yep. Might as well. Yep. He just ripped off its head. And then several knights come back or come over. I'm just loving that Jin Woo's just using his hands. Fuck it. Yo, what the hell was that thing? Was it a blast? What the fuck? He has mages, assassins, and knights he has to deal with. Nah, this is crazy. Yeah, the mages can just sit back and zone while the fighters or the knights and the assassins just rush you all day. This guy with the red hair. Are they about to go back to that Juju Island place? Sorry for mispronouncing it. He hasn't experimented at all with gear. See, the whole time I thought he was having gear on, but he just had, you know, cosmetic slots or something. But he just now equipped gear for the first time, and it becomes invisible anyway. All right, he's made it to one of the main big doors. What's past the door? See, he defeated the knights, archers, mages. So what's behind this door? Whoa! I guess that gust of wind was his perception. It looks like he's about to fight the final boss in here. Is this, we're gonna see that one night from earlier? Yeah. Is it Elden Ring boss? The name on the night is red. Hella fast too. Gosh! He just destroyed the whole pillar. It flung Jin He is too fast! He's too strong. He's just flinging him back and forth. He's not even actually landing hits on him. I feel like Jin Woo's gonna have to just use his hands again like he did with the other knights. Yeah, I don't think his blood's gonna be able to pierce that thing. Jin Woo, do not let that thing hit you. I ain't gonna lie, that blue and red lightning is fire. Alright, Jin Woo said they're equals when it comes to speed. But he's a little bit more powerful than the other guy. Yeah, you gonna have to use your hands some brute force, bro. I wonder why the chairman has all those scars on his face. I'm so annoyed that I didn't catch this guy's name right here. Okay, so they are going to Juju Island. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's been to Juju Island before, so I'm wondering if this is his second, third, how many times has he went exactly? The third raid on Juju Island, okay, wow, they just answered it. To me, that battle never really ended, so this must be his fourth time going to Juju Island. Oh, God, Jin Woo, this night is something else. Oh, my God, he's just punching him. Oh, my God, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my Ultimate Dukes. Look at his arms, bro. The knight's like dodging everything. Jin Woo has yet to land a clean shot on him and he got tripped. No! Is he throwing concrete at him? Come on, Jin Woo. If you can land that right hit, bro, you can get that momentum started. Yeah, this thing is too strong, bro. So here we go. Shit, did that just make him more mad? Oh, he just got amped. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. Yo, this knight is doing fucking cartwheels with Jin Woo's body. Yo, he's dragging him against the wall. He's throwing him. He put him in the throw. Jin Woo could barely breathe. See, where the knight's gonna mess up, though, is just you underestimating Jin Woo. Like, you playing. You under you underestimated Jin Woo, bro. Taking ta you taking too long. 
Jinwoo caught that mug. This is where you messed up. Is he able to pierce him? Oh, he stabbed him in his eye. Wow. Now he's going to fling him. Come on, Jinwoo. Don't let up now. Do not let up now. Do not let up. Wow. He tried to pick it up. He just switched it back to his hand. Ooh. What is going on? He's fucking up the animation. <laughs> is this thing still alive? I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing still alive. He got four rewards for beating one boss. Oh, he got the knight helmet. Nice. It's an S-rank item. He got a teleportation stone as well. I don't know why, but the body of the uh, Crimson Knight over there just seems so suspicious. And now he has waves of enemies coming in right after the boss. Wow. Hundreds of knights were fighting for his life. I love that he's fighting with his hands. Yo. He tried to use stealth, but they saw right through his stealth. He has no choice but to fight it out, bro. But he's exhausted. He has low health. Like, what can he do, bro? Can he get some health potions or something? Can't even use that in here. Bruh, bruh, bruh. The dude's gonna knock out the teleportation stone. We knew it was gonna fall out his hand. That's the second time he's done some shit like that. He dropped the teleportation. Everybody charge. This is where the episode's gonna end, ain't it? We got one more episode, and then I believe they're gonna go on break. But, uh, I mean, he was doing good. He fought the Crimson Knight, did his thing, got some gear. He just wasn't able to rejuvenate, and he cannot take potions in there. So the next episode, we know he's going to get some sort of amps or he's going to get some assistance and he's going to, you know, all the knights are going to be wiped and I'm just curious on where they're going to end off. I think they might end off somewhere with the other, like there was a group of those other hunters and they went to Juju Island. I think it might end off with something with that or I think somebody on that team might get severely packed or something like that. Wouldn't it be crazy if Jinwoo, was, we see Jinwoo soon on the island, but I just don't think he's, you know, on that level yet. You know what I mean? I do want to see those hunters fight. Hopefully we get to see that next episode. I would love to see some of that. But until next time, I'll see you.